think people need to yeah. know how to reward themselves. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a big... That's something I think I, I, I kind of struggled with. Not struggled with, but like wrapped my head around last year was the need to give myself well, number one breaks, um, but also rewards. Like, sometimes you work and... Because you... you maybe it's the Asian mindset as well, that whole grind the gears, you know, you just... But like an Asian mindset, a martial arts mindset, you know, pain is gain, so you're just thinking, work, work harder, work harder. Like, burnout, mm. you, you just think it doesn't exist. Mm. And the issue is, when you realise it, it's just too late because it's when you're burnt out, and that's when you're suffering. And the thing yeah. I'm about burning out, I feel, is whether or not you're going to start again, which is good. But I figured out the importance of giving myself those breaks, as well as what I also picked on was diversifying the tasks that I'm doing, because mm. it just keeps everything exciting. So if, if my goal was to lose weight, then great. I'm, instead of just doing one thing to lose weight, I'm doing something where the consequence is losing weight. And let's say, if you just run, cool, I can't do that, I'm just gonna get bored. If I just run, I'm gonna get bored. Yeah, I'll lose weight, because that's why people run. Mm. Um, tell it's good for you, but I'm just gonna get bored. So instead of like, if I do a sports activity or a game or mm. something, and I'm playing, I'm not thinking about, I'm doing this to lose weight, I'm thinking about, I'm doing this because it's fun and I'm playing. Losing weight's just a consequence. Yeah, yeah, um, and when you uh, started talking about the martial arts thing, like, um, most successful martial artists, they don't just uh, train martial arts, right? Like, they do other forms of uh, sports, like um, gymnastics, swimming, and Gym- stuff like that. Yeah! <laughs> I, 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 I also do gymnastics as well. Oh, hey, man, it's... don't disrespect GSP like that. Bro, he's coming back! <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the thing about diversifying, you know, like... Um, you take um the advantages from other activities like uh say for example swimming right you, that's a whole body workout but in addition to that like it's very uh light on your joints and all that you know there's no pressure so it's something that's very sustainable for like uh keeping up your fitness and stuff like that because you know like you're in water there's no pressure on like your um your knees and your joints and all that stuff so yeah man um being able to diversify is very important not just in uh sports and exercise but in your uh life and all that stuff like in doing tasks as well and doing something that takes effort yeah Yeah, because it gets especially for me like i can't you you know like i'm not going to be able to just concentrate on one thing if i can do a few things i'm more likely Mm. to get more results obviously multitasking is a myth so don't do that even though that's something that I do all the time. 